Welcome to this Advanced Steel 2021 video and today I'm going to look at management tool profiles and what they are and what they do. So in Advanced Steel 2021 here I'm going to launch management tools. So this is the area where we can control all the defaults and settings within your system and there is a thing called profiles. If we're in management tools and we click into defaults you will see up the top appears a selected profile drop down so what we can do in here is create individual profiles that we can then use on our projects so this allows you to switch profiles which will automatically change and configure the different options that you set for each profile so you can see as out of the box the default install comes with advanced steel as the default profile and then you've got a range of buttons on the top. So the first one is set the selection as current profile. So that um, will just set the current advanced steel as the current profile. We then have a new profile, rename, copy, reset, and then delete. So if we look at new, so um, instead of me changing the default, I may want to have a customized profile for myself so i'm just going to go new profile and in here i'm going to enter in structural bim and then we click apply so once you click apply that will then become the default and it's then available on your drop down if you close management tools restart go to defaults again it will you can see list advanced steel as the default profile so even though you create it and set it as current what you must do then is set it um, as your current profile so once you do that that then will then set that selection as the current profile and then you're free to go in and then change whatever settings you want to that profile so what we can also do is click rename so if you've entered a name and you want to change it you can then go to rename we also have the ability to copy that profile so we could copy and then i could create another one call it structural bim one so that would take the existing settings of structural BIM and then take it to structural BIM 1 and then we can set that as prof as default. We can also create a copy and we can also reset. So reset will reset it back to the default standards in advanced steel. And then we have the ability to also delete. So if I want to delete that profile, out it goes. So I'm back with advanced steel structural BIM as the two profiles. So where this really comes in useful is that we have the ability to export and import these profiles. So if you've got loads of management settings and you're moving to a new PC or you're going to your home laptop and you want to just take your settings, you can simply export that out and it will go to an XML file. So I can just go S, let's just go AS profile. put that to my desktop and that will then save that out and if we wanted to reverse that and then import it's the same principle go to our AS profile and it will then import that XML and we could go new structural BIM and it doesn't like the name and convention but you get the idea so it's quite a good idea as you first start out possibly create one in your names just that you've got your own individual setup and configuration and then the most important thing at the end once you've configured it saved it we've got this load settings in advance so typically when we make a change to anything within the management tools we then go load settings in advance and that will then just apply that profile to your current working environment so that's pretty much it it's just a nice little feature so management tools defaults and then create your own profiles for management tools so don't forget to like and subscribe and join me again soon on another structural bim tutorial